Hey, I'm back with another video today. So today's video is going to be all about how to make and keep your house smelling amazing. So I'll be sharing some of the best scents and fragrances that I found for my home. If you are new here, then welcome, I'm Paige, and I would really love it if you subscribed to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I post on a Wednesday and a Friday, so you'll be sure to get plenty of home content. Let's get straight into things. I think it's really important that you enjoy the scents around your home, but also when guests come in that they're actually commenting so that you know that it's not just you that enjoys the different fragrances, actually guests are enjoying them too. There's actually nothing worse than thinking that your home doesn't smell nice. I've got different zones around the house as we go through that I like different scents within different areas and I'll be sharing all of those with you. I'll also be including all the links below so that you can have a look yourself and shop them if you'd like. So let's go to the first area. So the lighting in this area may go a little bit funny but I wanted to show you this zone because I, it's one of my favourite fragrances we have here on this shelf, just here in the, in the frame. And if you have watched my home tour video, you may recognise this space. We actually have a beautiful full length window um, right behind me. Um, I'm just standing in front of it because it is kind of doing things with the lighting of this video. But I will insert a clip from the home tour of that wonderful window which is one of my favourite features of our house. And yeah, shameless plug if you want to go watch that. I will leave the link in the description below and the card above. Um, so watch that after this video. The fragrance I want to show you is from Next Home. So this is the New York Collection Diffuser and they come in various fragrances but I've chosen New York and it is just such a fresh scent. No, it doesn't say anything about what's in it. It probably did on the box but I've, I've long thrown that away. So we've had this diffuser for quite a while now and we've had so many compliments. When we first moved into our house, it was actually one of the first things that I picked up and when we've had people come round and we've given them like a tour of our house, they've all commented on how nice this smells. And I find now, sometimes you can get used to a smell, but even now when I walk past and go up to our bedroom, because this is the little hallway that leads upstairs, I still smell this and love the smell of it. I would say also remember to turn the reeds every now and again, just to make sure that the smell does keep its strength. Sometimes as well you can find that the first bit of a diffuser is really strong and then you just kind of lose it, but not this one. It's really good, really good quality I would say. You can also then buy the refill of the fragrance, which I've done. So you can see here, it's pretty, pretty empty. So you just keep it topped up. And I really like this. It's a glass bottle, so it's sustainable as well. And it's a little bit of a weird size, I would say, because maybe I had a tiny bit left in the bottle, but I can't get all of this in. There's, a, there's probably about that much left. Yeah, maybe even less than that left in this bottle. So I will have to keep it and then top that up as and when I need it. But I don't mind because I do really love the fragrance. So on to the next zone of my house and the next scent. So this is probably one of the more stranger setups that I've done. I'm currently in our bathroom, standing right next to my toilet. But the next fragrance I want to show you is actually this White Company candle. So this is the winter fragrance and the winter candle. Oh my god, I just love, love the smell of this. I like scents that are a little bit stronger, maybe a bit musky, especially, well, winter, autumn, winter time. This is amazing. I've hardly burned it because I don't want it to ever go. I know I can just go and buy myself another one. This was a moving in present from one of my friends and I can't rave about it enough. I do think if I wasn't to have this winter candle, I would have the White Company pomegranate. I actually, I've kind of noticed that it smells stronger when it's not burning. So that is another reason why I haven't burnt it yet. Well, I have burned it but only, I think, twice. I probably could get a lid for this, but I just like the bathroom smelling of this fragrance so much that I have to just deal with the dust that it collects. If anyone's got any tips just to remove that first layer of dust without covering it up, then please let me know because that would be much appreciated. But I really, really rate all of the fragrances from the White Company. Their candles in particular, I've always found smell really strong and last for ages. Yeah, I would highly, highly recommend 
this or just go into White Company and smell all of their candles and find the one that you prefer and then put it into a room such as your bathroom and honestly the smell just lasts for ages so highly recommended. So you may recognise this face from a previous video I've just done. I was going to show you this in the bathroom but the lighting is so weird and I cannot get it to work. So we're in here for now but I'm going to show you this. So this is in the downstairs toilet and it is by far the most complimented fragrance that I have in our entire house. There are so many people who have come round and asked where this is from. So it's Daisy Blue, which isn't a well-known brand. That is because I bought it from a small online business um, from Instagram. I found them on Instagram, tried it out. I've always tried the plum and rhubarb. I haven't ever deviated from that because I love the smell of it so much that I can't risk it basically. I ordered the refills. I think this is now three or four that we've had, but it lasts so long. It really does zone off that toilet and just makes it smell so nice. Before guests come round, I just flip the reeds to make sure that they're smelling as strong as they can. So it really does kind of pack a punch when you open the door. And rather than there's coats in there, there's shoes in there, like lots of different things. Actually, John's football stuff is in that room and all you can smell is this diffuser. So that gives you an idea of how great this diffuser actually is. Um, I highly recommend it. I will leave all the like price and the link to the online shop below as normal. I don't think you can go wrong and it's a small business. So I, I really love buying my refills and my top ups from there. I've also bought my mum and dad the same one because they were one of the people that complimented it loads and another friend who came over is also asked for the details and now she's buys them all the time. So yes, this is a really great diffuser and highly recommend. Okay, so the last fragrance that I have in my house that I cannot do without is actually I have to say this box has seen better days it looks like it's been chewed by a dog and we don't have a dog this actually got wet we had a bit of a, a leak in our our sink basically it spilled all into the cupboard under the sink which was great and these got a battering but they still smell amazing they did survive they're okay the box is just absolutely wrecked so as you can see, these are tumble dryer sheets. They're just the Sainsbury's ones, so they're nice and cheap, but rather than use them for tumble dryer, oh, it smells so good. My tip is to put in a tumble dryer sheet into the pillowcase, and that just makes the freshness of the pillowcase last slightly longer. And I have to say, I do love the smell of them. They're not overpowering. You can also get different fragrances of them. So I've got the Clear Skies ones, but there's all different ones that you can get. And if you wanted to, for instance, put in a lavender one to help you sleep better, that may also work. But I just find they really freshen up the pillowcase and make the bedding smell that much nicer for that much longer so it's just an extra little boost on top and i actually saw that on um mrs hinch's instagram and ever since i saw that i've been doing it and it really does work and i do that when guests come over as well just to make sure that their bedding is extra fresh and I find it really does make a difference. Okay, so you've now seen all the different zones in my house and the fragrances and scents I use in each different area. I really hope that gave you some inspiration and I always find if someone recommends a, a scent that I will then go and go out to the shops and, and smell it. Like I make a specific journey to the White Company, for instance, if someone's recommended a scent. So definitely go out and check those out. As I said, I will leave all the links below and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do post homeware videos Wednesday and Friday, so keep up to date with all the latest video. If you enjoy hauls, then please do go check out my Home Sense haul that I have posted. Again, I will leave the links below and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye. You'll be sure to get plenty of home videos. Oh, that sounds weird. So we're sure going to get straight into things. I think having your house nice. And actually, I say house. It could be apartment. It could be anything in between. House, apartment. What is in between that? No idea. So we've got a, um, a... Oh, my phone. Oh, my phone.
that's work, I can't ignore that. And then it also comes with a refill. So, actually it doesn't come with a refill, that's a lie. 